In theory, all overtones are just whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency. However, for this to be the case, strings have to be perfectly flexible, which they are not. Strings are made out of stiff metal which doesn't quite bend perfectly. So in reality, there may be overtones which are not whole number multiples of the fundamental. This is called inharmonicity. The shorter, thicker, and looser a string is, the more inharmonicity it exhibits, precisely because shorter and thicker strings cannot bend easily. And unfortunately, the lower strings on an upright piano are short, thick, and loose, which means they are very inharmonious. Now this inharmonicity contributes to the richness of the sound of a piano, but it also creates some dissonance when you play a low note on an upright piano. And this is partly the reason why recreating the sound of an acoustic piano on a digital piano is quite difficult. It's not as simple as just creating a fundamental frequency and adding some overtones. Now, inharmonicity caused by the stiffness of the strings also creates another interesting feature. The inharmonic overtones tend to be a little bit too high. So the 16th overtone is about a semitone higher than it technically should be, and the 50th overtone is about a perfect fifth higher than it technically should be. And this is one of the reasons you cannot tune a piano. If you tune two notes on the piano to a perfect octave, that is, so the fundamental frequencies are a ratio of 2 to 1, then because of this inharmonicity, the notes will actually sound out of tune. Which is an interesting thing to think about. If a piano is perfectly in tune, it's actually out of tune. So let's take two notes an octave apart. So A at 110 hertz and A at 220 hertz, an octave higher. Now in theory, the first overtone of the lower note should be exactly 220 hertz, perfectly lining up with the fundamental frequency of the higher tone. But in practice, because of inharmonicity, the first overtone is slightly higher, so maybe 222 hertz. Now this will create beating between the two notes and they will sound out of tune. This is why when tuning a piano, you have to stretch the octaves. So the lower note will be slightly lower and the ratio will be slightly larger than it should be, to avoid that out of tune beating with the octave above. So for example, you could tune the lower note to 109 hertz. So now the first overtone of this lower note should exactly line up with the fundamental frequency of the higher note, precisely because inharmonicity makes the overtone a little bit too sharp. <laughs> 